We did it boys, we finally cleared the requirements needed to get YouTube partnership. We sent it off and it says it might take two or three weeks to come back. It can take up to 28 days, but I've talked to a few people who've got it, said they got it in two or three weeks. Ours came through in three days. We just got this email last night. Absolutely awesome, thank you so much for that. Our next YouTube goal is to make $1 in ad revenue. Not sure how long this goal will take, but we're gonna grind that out for the next few videos, see how long it takes. Anyway, let's get started. Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever getting experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. We came here at level 4 combat and we're not stopping till we reach our goal. This episode 21, let's get started. So the last episode ended on a massive cliffhanger. We cleared 70 defense, unlocked all of the Borrows items, sold all our gear and we have 3.3 mil. And I was like, pick one of these sets of armor and I'll use it for the first 1,000 chests. Honestly, I thought these were all gonna be mean and put me in Dorox, one HP the whole way, but these are actually pretty cool. We had two years said Varax, two said Krills, only one person said DH. Then we had five votes for Torags, which is pretty good, but it's not good enough. The winner with an awesome amount of support is Guthins. The biggest comment had 21 likes in it, so we're going with that. It is the best armor I can use for training at the moment as well, to be able to AFK in the tunnel. So that is awesome. So we're gonna get that bought. And there we go, boys. Our first full borrow set has been achieved on the account and we can wear it. This is a monumental moment on the borrows only account because from now on, we'll have a decent way of training in the tunnels and we'll be really efficient. There it is. Just take a second for this. There we go, full Guthans, looking like an absolute beast. Look at them horns and all. This is gonna be so useful. It's the best one you could have picked because it'll be able to AFK in the tunnel train on this account. I'll be able to get like really, really high melee stats. I'll probably get at least 80 defense, maybe 85, and just get like really high attack strength. It'll be really good for krills and all. Right, we're gonna head over here with our new set. Blast out a few chests, and then we're gonna do a bit of training in the tunnel. Head over here and actually forgot we didn't open the chest last time, we just left once we hit 70 defense. So what I'm going to do here is test out the Guthans, see if these things can do more damage than it can heal. I don't think they will because they're only 53 combat, but maybe in the other rooms they will. But yeah, being able to AFK down here is class because when I'm playing like Becht, playing the Fossil Island only account or doing anything, I can just put this here in Guthans and it'll AFK for 8 minutes. 8 minutes of constant training without me touching the screen is class, it just means I'll be able to get millions of combat xp over time without actually putting in loads of effort you know so yeah absolutely awesome i've no idea what the xp per hour will be with full guthans like i'm sure it won't be as good as a whip but it's probably pretty good there's chest 205 coming in so it took us 205 chests to get this full set of borrows armor on the go we'll need to open up probably another 800 or so to get to our dream gear which is like full just a shower with the uh, trident, dragon claws, imbued heart. We've just loads and loads of stuff we need to get in our dream gear. There's a picture of everything we're looking for. And all that's like 200 mil plus, so it's a lot of chests away, but I can't wait till we get that. Also want to get these two items, a Sangrelini staff. I can't even pronounce that actually, but whatever that new staff that heals you called, and a Zardome and Godsword, if we can get both of those, we'll be able to heal up while we're here without ever banking, which means eventually, We'll be able to just do a full chest and then teleport straight up to the top of Borrows and do another chest without ever banking. We'll keep all the runes and bolt racks in our inventory and then every time our inventory fills up with just items, that's whenever we'll bank. Which sounds pretty awesome, but the only problem with that is the Zardome and God Swords 35 mil and the staff's an extra 80 mil. So a long way off, I think to get all of our dream gear. Oh, we also need a blowpipe as well for arms, that'll be pretty cool. So we need another about 300 mil or so. So we're only about 10% of the way. Not even 10, we're only about 1% of the way. We've only got about 3.5 mil maybe with all this stuff. And we need over 300, so we're about 1% of the way done. But don't worry, we'll get there soon enough because we'll be opening a lot quicker chests now that we've got this good armor. I'm loving this goose. And see if I get like hit load while I'm in the tunnel and don't have enough food to heal up. I can just kill some of the wee small things for extra health which is awesome. It can't do it up above because it's really inaccurate against the brothers, but whenever you're in the tunnel, just hit one of these small ones and it usually heals you, so really, really easy. There's chest 206 coming in, and in the next trip, we're gonna train a load of melee up. I wanna get past 60 strength, and I also want 75 defense for just a shower. We're gonna aim for those two goals in this video. So there's 58 strength, 59 strength, there's 60 strength, and that actually leaves us really close to an attack level. And because you can't use Guthans on like 
attack or strength stance you have to use controlled may as well smash out a load of attack levels while we're here so i'm gonna open this chest first and then finish this off oh no way torag sam i don't think we've had one of them before do you know what i have to do in this video as well get a collection log from Varrock museum and then i'll be able to see what all items i've got if i've got any duplicates you can actually track every single drop from borrows in there which is pretty cool but here we are 71 attack coming in if we actually get 75 attack that'd be pretty cool because then we could use god swords and maybe the elder mall you are probably thinking it's useless it has no special or anything but it has the best slash bonus or is it crush maybe it's crush the highest melee bonus in the game you can get is from the elder mall so having it in like crush would be really good for flinching Look at this absolute scam artist, 204k to repair my Guthans and it was only at like 50%. Full set of Guthans must be 400k to repair, that's going to burn through the cash deck. We're going to buy back the Sirachin's Crudel and use it for training strength, just because our strength is way lower than our attack and defense at the minute. And if we can get the strength levels up a wee bit, it means we'll get more XP per hour if we have a higher max hit, you know? So we're going to get like 30, 63, sorry, so we'll do 61, 62, 63 strength. And then we're going to switch back and finish off 75 defense. Every time we get low health, I'm just putting this stuff back on, then healing up off the wee boys. It means I never have to bank. So yeah, that's how we're keeping full health while we're here. I'm actually gonna head over to the Rock Museum now, pick up the collection log. It'll be really useful in the account just for tracking all of our loot from borrows. I've never had one of these in an account before, but somebody was recommending it in the comments. So shout out to you. I can't remember who it was, but it'll be cool to be able to keep track of this in one place. So borrows chest, there we go. So we've got 11 out of the 25, no, there's only 24 items, I'm not sure why Boldrax is on there. Pretty cool, one off halfway, one off halfway of getting every item. We're going to get a lot of duplicates before we get like all 24 items. Going to smash out an agility level here, we just bring over the wee toy mouse. We got a genie last video, and we're pretty close to 19 agility, so I thought I'd just bring this over, train it up. It's very, very slow, you fail to catch him a load of the times, and then when you finally do catch him, you only get 3 XP. But there it is, 19 agility coming in. Eventually we want to get up to about 25 agility. We'll have no way of getting really, really high agility, but just any agility levels makes a runescape count way better when you're running about all the time. Here's another chest coming in. Whenever this rat dies, one second. <laughs> as soon as I hit record, it never hits. There we go. And this one gives us, ooh, Torax hammers. That might actually be unique. We might be halfway now. That's pretty cool if it is. I know it's a really bad item. It's only worth like, 90k or something but if that's a unique and we haven't got it before then it might be halfway to all the items just check the log here do we have torx hammers we don't there we go boys 24 out of no sorry 12 out of 24 items giveaway time whoever guesses how many chests it'll take us to get this completed you know to get the full 25 out of 25 here in the collection log gets 10 mil whoever's closest actually you don't have to get perfectly i think it'll be taking around 1,000 to 2,000 chests, so have a guess in between there. If you're closest, whenever we hit it, I'll give you 10 mil. Here we are back at our friend Bob, and he wants 250k to repair the Guthans. We've already given 450k just to train with this Guthans for a couple hours. Anyway, there's 72, 73 defense, and here we are coming in with another strength level, 500k off. So, sorry, 500 XP off, that won't take too long. And what I'm going to do, I think, is sit at 63 strength for a long time and now just train defense. Eventually our strength level will go up just as we like heal with the Guthin, so we don't need to worry about it too much. And there we go, 74 defense. One more level till we can unlock our dream gear. We can't afford it yet, but once we get like a load of chests out of the way, maybe if we get lucky and get a few arms pieces, then we'll finally be able to afford it. Chest 217 gives another leak clue. But here we go boys, one of the biggest levels on the account coming in. This here unlocks everything. There's no more gear in the game that we can't wear once we clear 75 defense. So there we are, 75 defense out of the way. That unlocks primordial boots, just a sheer armor, dragon fire shield, just all that really good stuff later on. And there's chest 232 coming in as well. We're gonna head over, sell a load of stuff. And then we're gonna actually try something different here. I was telling the boys in the CC about Bob robbing us, taking all our money off us to repair our Guthans. And they goes, oh, why not go to World 330, go to the player-owned house world. And if you go to some other boy's house, you can actually use their armor stand to repair your Guthans or repair your armor. And it's a lot cheaper than going to that like extortion artist and Lumbridge Bob. So I thought, oh, that sounds brilliant. That's a really good idea. Save loads of money, much cheaper. Bob, whenever it's nearly as broken as it is, it's very close. I think we're like 25% in all the bits. Yeah, 25%. So this would be nearly 400K at Bob. But if you bring it here, it's only 228k, so that's class. Let's go. 
Except it gives XP. Why did nobody tell me it gives smithing XP like that as the account we're in? Two smithing. We're not allowed to gain experience anywhere else but borrows. There's only two rules in this account and that's one broke. So yeah, gonna have to start over. Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever gaining gold or experience anywhere else but Borrows. 